Eh? Eh? I like how I look in this thing. I, this is, I feel like I'm back where I belong. Some of you may have seen that my last packing list video that I made. I decided it's time to make a new one. I'm going on my third Camino in two days. This is the first time that I've gathered all of my things together in one place, laid it out. Here's a picture. It looks like a lot of stuff. It's all in here. All of it. I've made a couple changes this year to what I'm bringing and kind of how I'm approaching things. I have a lot of new things. As you can tell, I have a new backpack, I have new shoes, I have new everything. And this time I actually have everything in front of me to show you as well. So I'm going to empty this guy out and I'm going to show you everything that I'm bringing on my Camino that I leave for in two days. This time I'm doing the Camino Portuguese, which I have not done before. So there is an aspect of like, I don't know exactly what the weather is going to be like. and But that's the case for any Camino anytime you can't really anticipate exactly how it's gonna go. This is my best effort to try and make things go as smoothly and lightly and as pain-free and tendonitis-free as I possibly can. So let's get started. Let's start with the big stuff. So, this is my backpack. It is about half the weight of my last backpack. This is an Osprey, obviously, and it is a Cyrus 36. It fits me perfectly. The hip belt hits right in the middle of my hip, which is where it's supposed to. There's no gap in between my shoulder and the bag when it's sitting there. When it's too tall, it can be like that, and that's kind of how my old one was. It comes with a rain cover as well, which is lovely. This is my new baby, and I can't wait to break it in. The second most important purchase that you're going to make is probably your shoes. And these are the ones that I have chosen. These are a shoe made by Columbia. They're called the Conspiracy Titanium Out Dry. So they look like running shoes, and they're very, very light, which I'm happy about, but they are waterproof. They have an aggressive enough tread to handle the Camino, so there's not going to be like any slippage happening, but I need a low-cut shoe when I wore a high cut one last time. I, if you've seen my videos, I've left them in a tree because they really, I'm not used to walking with that higher cut. And so these are going to be perfect for me. Hopefully we will see, I'll keep you updated. For those, I also got a pair of insoles that have some like added arch support to help kind of relieve the pressure on my Achilles tendon when I walk because I got tendonitis last time. So hopefully those will help and they'll make things a little bit like cushier as well. I got myself another pair of Keen Whisper walking sandals, which on my last Camino, I pretty much ended up walking the entire Camino in these. So I'm gonna actually probably start with these as my default shoe. And if it's raining, then I'll put my other ones on because I've just had so much bad luck with footwear that I'm just gonna stick with these to start and see how it goes. This is the same sleeping bag that I have brought for three different Caminos. The compression bag isn't really working too well anymore. There's the details, so good to seven degrees Celsius or 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's quite a light one. It's bigger than it needs to be. Like I could very easily like squish this up more. But if you saw, I do have like straps to attach this to the bottom of my backpack, which I was doing there. We'll see if I need to do that when I'm walking, but it would fit in my bag as well. Yes, I am bringing a sleeping bag and that is why I'm bringing. I'm bringing a hiking pole. I used the other pole from this set last time I went, so I'm just gonna use the second one. Top tip, look for this kind of stuff at like Army and Navy or like co-op stores, because these were like five bucks. So those are like the big gear things out of the way, like the big purchases, the things that cost a lot of money and that will make a huge difference to your Camino. I'm not bringing a poncho this time. The one I have is quite heavy. I can't afford to buy a new one. If I get there and it's pouring rain, I'll like find a plastic one to wear or something. I'll be fine. I'm now going to show you my clothing. Some of it is the same as in my last video. Some of it is new. I'll just kind of go through it quite quickly. Okay, these are the tops I had. The shirts are literally the exact same as last time, so I have this red merino wool t-shirt that I got at Costco. The brand is Segments, and they, it worked just fine for me last time. It's held up really nicely. And then also bringing my long sleeve t-shirt that I talked about in my last one as well. This one is from Mountain Equipment Co-op, and it's also merino wool. Merino is great, as most of you probably know. It's really good for keeping you warm and wicking away moisture, but without retaining odor, and it dries really quickly, and it just keeps you 
warm, but it's really, really light physically. I got myself a new fleece. I would never go to the Camino without a fleece jacket, to be honest. Like, fleece is so nice and light to carry, but it keeps you so cozy. It can be expensive if you go to like outdoor stores, but if you find like something at Costco or something that's on sale, they're really reasonable. And onto an outer layer, I got myself a new rain jacket. Honestly, this was just the one that they had on sale at Costco. I really can't afford like the $300 ones. So this is from Marmot. It says waterproof slash breathable fabric fabric, which I never really understood. That seems like counterintuitive. It's got the hood that you can roll up into it if you want to kind of tuck the hood away. This one also has like the ventilation under the arms. So those are the tops that I'm bringing. One short sleeve, one long sleeve, one fleece, and one jacket. These are the pants that I'm bringing. These are from North Face. Um, they came with me on my first Camino. They're not zip-offs, but they do like roll up into capri length, lots of like handy dandy pockets, and it has a handy dandy belt as well for hopefully when you lose weight on the Camino, which is always nice. Super quick drive, no complaints with those, those have served me really well. And then I just got a pair of hiking shorts as well from Costco for like $20. And these are Cloud Veil brand, which I have never heard of, but they are suiting me just fine, and they are really really light and quick dry as well. And then for a little bit of a luxury item, I brought leggings last time as just like something to chill in like pajamas and something to wear that's not quick dry and just something to hang out in. Um, I'm bringing these this time. Similar idea. Something to chill in. Something that's really soft and cozy. I'm bringing a scarf with me. This time I felt like I wanted to bring this instead of a buff. It doesn't take up too much space or weight or anything like that. When I travel I just love to have a scarf like something to ball up to sleep on. Something to use to like keep the wind off you or something like just I just want to bring it and so I am bringing it and that's kind of the end of that story. <laughs> this is the fun stuff. I'm bringing some underwear and some sports bras as well. For the ladies, I usually just bring like quite low impact, like comfy sports bras, not the really super tight ones. I'm bringing three pairs of socks. Um, some people would only bring two, but because I'm thinking I might end up wearing my sandals quite a bit, I want to have just like an extra pair in case it's like raining or something and I have to change throughout the day. So I have one pair of just like kind of standard merino wool ones. I have one pair that's got like the like built-in liner supposed to help reduce friction and then same with this one. This one says like sock and liner in one which I don't know if that's kind of hokey. I don't know. These feel comfy and I'm going to enjoy them. That's all I have for clothing. I'm gonna kind of go now into like random accessories and like things that I need to bring that isn't clothing and gear. I'm bringing my handy dandy lug bag which I have brought on both of my other Caminos. This is my carry-on bag. I really like like it because there's so many like there's just a crap ton of pockets there's pockets in pockets and pockets lots of like secret hidey places I mean I don't particularly like how it looks or anything but like it's really light it does ball up quite small it doesn't take up too much room and I just really like having it it's just super handy for travel this is my journal that I'm bringing with me this time I treated myself a little bit this was hella expensive but it's so beautiful and what I love about this so so you unwrap it, it keeps it nice and safe. So it's just kind of your standard journal on the inside, but you can actually take it out of this pouch. And so once you fill up this journal, you can take it out and then you put, you find a new journal and stick it in there and you can just keep using this forever and ever. And it just feels so special. And I have a lot of feelings right now that I need to get out onto paper while I'm traveling. And so this is super necessary. And I hope to be writing in it a lot while I'm away because just, Oh, it's so beautiful. How could I not? How could I not? I mean, look at this thing. I also have a money belt. This came on my Camino the last time as well. This is from the brand Cactus Creek, which is, I think, clearly Canadian. Can we all agree? Yeah. We like to put maple leaves on things. I don't know. We like to claim it as our own. But this I wear like underneath my clothes and this is where I keep all of the things that I really don't want to lose. So that's where my passport would be. That's where like credit cards and debit cards and ooh and driver's licenses and things like that, like things that I need to have on me, but I definitely don't want to be easily accessible. In my money belt, I keep like the majority of my cash as well. Because it costs so much to take money out on the Camino um, or when you're traveling, you know, you, you get like a bit at a time, you get a couple hundred euros. And I keep most of that in here in like a plastic bag because I sweat while I'm walking obviously and I don't want to get everything wet. And then I just have like this little coin purse which acts as like my daily wallet and I'll just keep that in my pocket. So for daily expenses, I can just pull things out of there without going into my money belt. In terms of electronics that I'm bringing, I'm bringing both my phone and my tablet. I mean, come on, I'm a millennial. Can you expect me to go without electronics for a month? 
No. Totally joking. Totally joking. I'm bringing my camera, my camera case, extra battery, extra memory cards, charger, that sort of thing. Also for my camera, I'm bringing a gorilla pod, which is just like a tiny little tripod that can like it bends and like you can stick it on anything. There he is. So we'll see how much I use this. We'll see how much I actually like film or take photos while I'm there. But now I'm set if I do. I'm bringing a cord to charge my thingies, a thingy to plug into the wall. And then if you're from not Europe, you will need to get a plug adapter. Either like $4 on Amazon, like don't get one of the expensive $30 converter things. You just need a plug adapter. That's all you need. You're good. Okay, hang in there guys, we're getting there. Okay, here we go. My first aid kit. This looks like literally exactly the same as the last time that I opened it because I haven't used it since then. Moleskin, band-aids, sewing kit, uh, pills, <laughs> anti-inflammatories. This time I'm bringing Glide. This basically works the same as Vaseline, like you just slick it all over your feet and it reduces the friction of your feet in your socks and your shoes. And reducing friction means hopefully, ideally, reducing blisters. So let's see if this works for me. Updates to come on that. I also have two little baby tubes of Voltaren. Voltaren is a topical anti-inflammatory cream. It's very, very popular in the Camino. You'll definitely see this. Um, and I very much need it and I found it very useful when I had tendonitis. And the smell makes me think of the Camino, which is really weird. Everyone who travels anywhere has seen these. These are brought from the brand. Light my fire. Go on, baby, light my fire. But yeah, spoon on one end, fork on another, knife, serrated edge right there. Now we're getting into like the random bits. I have headphones. I always bring some plastic bags of some sort, but I always bring one large Ziploc bag at least that is dedicated to icing my injuries because God knows I'm gonna get injured. God knows I'm gonna have something to ice. And the bars are usually pretty good about if you go and get a drink and you're like, Lisa, may I have some ice? Other little bits and bobs, I have my roll of toilet paper all ready to go. I always bring some clothes pins just in case the other guy runs out so I don't have to steal from other people. <laughs> I also have my key light, which I have talked about before. I don't have a headlamp this time. That's, that's different. I've brought a headlamp. The other times. I am not picturing myself being one to get up super duper early this time, so I don't feel like I need a headlamp. And also, my headlamp is broken and I can't afford a new one, so I'm just gonna get by on just this and hope for the best. I am bringing a watch, earplugs, always gotta have earplugs. I also have a combination lock. This is more for before I start the Camino because I'm gonna be in Lisbon staying in like a regular hostel before I go to the Camino and while I'm exploring the city and don't have my backpack with me, I would love to be able to just leave my passport and valuables and stuff behind. So I'm bringing this guy so that I can do that. And then I have all my toiletries, which are pretty self-explanatory. I have sunscreen, I have deodorant, I have face cream, toothpaste, contact lens solution, a razor, I have my Lush shampoo and my Lush conditioner. Because I'm blind as a goddamn bat, I have my prescription sunglasses that I'm bringing with me. I have my regular glasses. These are obviously like bulky and heavier than I would like them to be, but I don't want to break my glasses on the Camino, so I have that extra added bonus weight to carry around. And then last but not least, I have my very sophisticated water system, which you may have seen in my last video. I just have this like pouch that I literally, it's just like Velcro, and I just like stick it on the hip belt of my backpack, and I have a water bottle, and I put the water bottle in the pouch and then my water is right there easy to drink i don't have to deal with like the weird sacks and everything this seems like too much work to me this is super easy it doesn't get in the way it's right there so i can drink it whenever i get thirsty i like a water bottle that you can open with one hand and you don't need to like actually physically unscrew the cap you can just put it back get on your way and that my friends is everything that i'm bringing with me that can't be it oh uh, the only thing that I don't have with me that I'm going to be bringing or that I hope to be bringing is um, like a microfiber towel and my Swiss Army knife which I can't find and it's driving me nuts because I need that thing. I might end up buying another one. I really can't afford it because god this stuff is expensive. Backpacks are expensive, shoes are expensive, flights are expensive, like I was not- I haven't been like saving and preparing for this for months and months, it was kind of just I have my travel fund and just with life situations I was like I need to do this right now, I need to get out of here and go back to the Camino. And so that's what I'm doing and this is kind of what I've scraped together, salvaged from the stuff that I had from before 
and replace things that I felt like I needed to replace, like my backpack. I hope this was useful. I hope this turns out to be useful for me. <laughs> I will report back whether or not this packing list was actually successful. All right, Buen Camino, folks. Buen Camino to me. Awesome. I get to say Buen Camino to you guys all the time, but like, it's my turn now. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. All right, bye guys. Talk to you very soon.